Hi there, Tim Bauer here from LiveVideoGuitarLessons.com with a practice tip of the day. This one is for the intermediate player. Today I want to talk about stabilizing your picking hand if you're, if you're playing an arpeggio or picking, you know, otherwise picking individual notes, you know, something other than strumming. And what you have to do, you have to hold on to your guitar somewhere close to where you're picking. Um, if, if you're not, most of the time you end up holding on to the top string, unless you need that string, of course. You can also hold on to your guitar, you know, just have a finger on your guitar, kind of down there, get there where you can see that. So if you're playing something like this, it makes it much easier to find the notes than if you're just kind of floating over the strings and having your elbow as the closest place to your hand that's touching the guitar. That's not stable enough, that's too far away. So I tend to just hold on my top string, so if I'm going to do something like this, What I'm doing, I know you can't see it from that angle. I'm just I'm just holding on my third finger, and it doesn't have to be your third finger, just you know, whatever's comfortable for you. I'm just pointing this out because um, uh, at first this doesn't no matter how you do it, it doesn't seem comfortable. I have trouble getting people, you know, my my, my students to to uh, open up their hands and, and hold on to something here. But the idea is once you've been playing for a while, you get like if I hold on to the first string here, my third finger, I know how far away the third string is. You just get used to it. You know how far away the set. So I I can find the strings quickly because I know physically how far they feel from, from the first string. And if I need the first string, like I'm doing, and I'm playing a lead or something, I'm going to back up here a little bit. I'm still going to hold on down here. And I want to go on up to the, to the first string, I just let go. And I just kind of slide it down out of the way. And what I've done, I've slid it where I'm just kind of on the guitar. This guitar is a little buzzy. It needs a fret job. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, um, the analogy is like if, if for instance, I wanted to, um, if I had a, a, a long wooden dowel and for some reason I wanted to point at that last book on the top shelf over there to a, you know, a particular letter on the spine of that book, it'd be hard to do that. I mean, I could do it, you know, eventually, but I mean, it'd be hard. It'd be shaky, you know, I have a long pole back there trying to get it on there. Um, and that's just a terrible way to do it. But if I just, you know, took a, a you know, pencil, I just walked over there, I can put it right on whatever letter I want to because the pencil's short. That's the same thing with your arm. This is too far away. And the way people tend to do this um, incorrectly um, is they, they try to, number one, they have their fingers up here too far and they're, into, they're kind of making a fist when they're playing. And they just try to kind of float their, their pick over the strings. And that's fine when you're strumming. That's the way you're supposed to strum. <laughs> because you don't want to be muting strings out with your fingers, on, you know, unless for some reason you do for the song you're doing. But it, it's too hard, it's, it's, it's too difficult. You end up poking at the strings that is so far away, your point of reference is so far away from your strings. I mean, I, I can do that, but I'll miss a lot of strings and I've been playing a long time. You know, if I try to float my hand over here and do that same thing, I'll make a lot of mistakes. As a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna play it because I don't want to be full of mistakes here. But, you know, this gives me an anchor from, from which I can work. So just kind of keep that in mind. And by the way, you're probably noticing this, this huge mark on the front of my guitar here. That's what that's from. Um, you know, this guitar doesn't have a, a, um, a pick guard on it. I don't know if you can see the little mark on the, uh, the smaller on the, on the Gibson back there. Um, it's because the, the wood's more solid. Um, I took the pick guard off of that guitar a long, long, long time ago, so I have that little mark on there. The guitars that do have pick guards on them, I don't have the mark, although the, the decal gets worn off a little bit because the pick guard protects it. Um, but don't worry about marking up your guitar if you don't have the pick guard. That, th this is a badge of honor, you know, wear it with pride. That just means, you know, you're a, a serious player and you, you put a lot of time in, in, into your, your guitar playing. There's nothing wrong with that. Willie Nelson has actually worn a hole in his guitar that is huge. <laughs> He's he, He's been playing the same guitar for, I don't know, 60 years, 65 years. He, he, he likes the sound of that guitar. Doesn't matter. It has a great big hole in it. He doesn't care. He likes the sound of it, even with the hole there. And, you know, that's that's one of his trademarks. And, and I'm sure he wears that hole with a, with a, you know, he's proud of, you know, I don't know that. But um, th that's something to be said for playing guitar that much you can wear a hole in the face of your guitar. So, anyway, just keep that in mind. Um, hopefully that helps. Um, and, and by the way, I, it, it, it's going to be a little uncomfortable at first. And by the way, this will help you with some other things too. It'll help you relax your hand. It'll help you hold the pick right because it, you know, a lot of times people want to hold the pick with two fingers and a thumb, and you don't want to do that. And it makes it hard to reach down away for your guitar or down to your guitar if you're holding the pick wrong. 
this will help you remind you to hold it with just your thumb and your index finger. So anyway, all right, so employ that into your playing. I promise you'll get used to it. Um, watch a video of your favorite rock stars playing. Anytime they're playing leads or, or arpeggios and not strumming, you're going to notice that if you watch a thousand videos, 999 people will be playing, touching their guitar somewhere. You know, it may be on the edge of a pick, you know, pick, uh, pickup um, apparatus, you know, the, the, I don't know what that's called, whatever the pickup sits in, maybe grabbing the pickup itself, you know, something on the guitar. And a lot of people just, you know, just, just kind of plant their finger on their guitar, maybe that finger. I'm sorry, do that where you see it. But they have a spot on the guitar that, that marks it. I, I, I prefer the top string. Uh, it's just more comfortable for me. Um, but as, as long as you have something close to your pick, you're in good shape. So anyway. Thanks for tuning in for this practice tip. Tune in again tomorrow for another one, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.